Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have successfully added the associated the product with the categories, and also we are able to add the category with add the product with the category, and also we are able to show the product along with its category name. So let's try to navigate to some of the pages. Let's see that everything is working fine or not before proceeding to the cart page. And if I go into this admin page, here we are getting again an error that something it's unable to identify the product category okay let's go to these products so this will be present around in the product controller i think in this product controller uh maybe hope get add product and all those things yeah get admin products page so here we need to add in a such a way that it should be something like include category so we need to include the category that's it i hope it will solve i think let's try to open this page so what is the page so sorry yeah this is the page so if i open this page yeah we are able to get the categories now if you, if i click on the edit page again we got an error that edit page is not working properly so let's try to rectify this edit page also before going to the cart so that when you try to uh, clone my github repository uh may, we will be making sure that everything is working fine so this is the get edit product page so in this one we need to get the categories first so here i can say something like i will be having let views data i will be maintaining these all the things so these all the things i will try to maintain it i will remove this use data and product will be not having by the time so this is our use data basic views data and here you will be having the product so here i can say that views data use data views data is equal to i can inject the product <clears throat> i can inject the product with the views data okay views data or otherwise like this so or otherwise you can you can have without a product also we can have it not a problem we'll keep it like this only so views data i am injecting so now there is no need for me to render after getting the product then i need to get the categories also then so here i will return um, return category dot find all of we will have an attributes something like we need only the id and the title right so we can have only the id and the title so that's it so i am returning the category and here we will be having dot then and i will get all the categories so in this categories also what i will try to do so i can rest dot render here before doing the rest dot render i will copy the categories into this one so these are all the categories and in the views data that's it okay so these are all the categories in this one i will be trying to do so now what <clears throat> so now that's it so now we got the views data and we are rendering that one let's try to see that whether we are able to get the output same or not so i am use reusing this add product right so because of that reason i am free framing that all the data if i try to see yeah we are able to see all the data with categories details also now what i want to do i want to select the category default category what is the category that has been there for this edit product i want to make this one as selected so let's go to the edit product details.js file oh sorry add product so this one only right add product itself is the edit product only this is the option and here i can add a condition in such a way that I can add inside this one condition if category dot id is equal to is equal to product product dot category id if this one is equal then i will make it this one as a selected selected or otherwise this one i will make it as a nothing i think hope this one works i think so here what i am trying to do if category id is equal to is equal to product dot category ID, I, will, I want to make this one selected or otherwise i don't want it if i go into this one output let's see i am refreshing let's see whether yeah we are, we are able to get the fashion so if i go into this home page or otherwise in the admin page and if i click on this electronics so this should be selected electronics if i change this one to the fashion now i want to make this one as selected to the fashion so let's go into this one in the product controller in the post edit in the post edit product page 
so you can do the previous thing only so you can get the categories and check that whether category is not present or not if the category is present then you can update all those things so i am try i am trying to make it as simple so category id i will be getting request dot body dot category id okay we can we can use it like this <coughs> so post edit category id we are updating and here it will update the category id and it will redirect to the products so let's see that whether it will work or not so i am refreshing this page so now we are able to see the output i am changing this one iphone 13 to fashion which is wrong actually but we'll see now iphone 13 has been updated to fashion but i want to change it back to electronics now if i try to change it back to electronics now it has to be updated see we are able to successfully update the data through the products also now we have created an association with the product with the category and also we are able to see the data the updated data also so if i want to add a product immediately i can add oh here in the add product again it's got a problem i don't know so category of categories product slash add product is not defined okay product is not defined so what could be the reason here let's go to the add product page so this one should be checked only when the edit is there so edit and we'll use this edit and now i think this one will work so now this one is also working i will try to add some product here i will add it in the elect passion so add a product this one is added now i will try to go to the admin so it's the same thing i will try to edit it so the edit also is working fine so if i click on the edit it is working fine if i change it to electronics so it has to work it so it is this one is also working fine so this is all about association with the category now in the next in the next session what we'll try to do is we'll try to associate the card details also with the product and with the user so every use every user has a card and that card and in, the, in that card the user will add the products right so first we need to associate with the user then afterwards we can add the details to the card so we'll associate the user so right now we don't have any user we'll try to maintain a dummy user okay so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you